Hi everyone, welcome to Loris Fandora. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this cool beetle pillow. So I just uh, put some tool over my loom area, looked online, googled a beetle, and I found this one picture that I really liked and I blew it up, I super made it just huge, kind of the size I wanted to put on the pillow, printed it out, and then I just did the simple tampered embroidery stitch and followed the outline of the body and the head and, and where the legs are gonna be you know coming out of and stuff. And then I used a bunch of then I used a bunch of different variety of beads that I had left over from other projects and some pearls and I just started temper embroidering different sections. So I did the middle section first in kind of a light well, dark purplish brown color of beads. Then after that, I did the head part in a navy blue, and I let, I created some sections where I'm going to put the pearl beads in for the eyes. Then to add kind of uh, more detail, I added this kind of purple triangle next to uh, the purple section uh, to the back part of the beetle add more depth and color. Okay, and then the hardest part was the back part. I wanted to create stripes, so I first used a light green colored bead for the first line and then a smaller um, silver, dark silver bead beads for the next line and then a turquoise bead and then I just repeated it over and over to create this kind of cool effect in lines. I did one wing and then the other wing area. That probably took the most time, that huge section. And then I started tempered embroidering the legs. Now with the legs, you have to have that picture with you and just kind of, um, I put a little pin where the joint was of each leg and then I would tempered embroider bead up to that point and then I'd pick up the piece of paper and match where the next end of the leg would be and put the pin down and that's how I created the straight lines of exactly where the legs lay out. Okay, so then you're gonna also tempered embroid the antennas and I chose this kind of white grayish colored bead for that and the kind of little mouthpieces, mouthpiece, chewing mouthpiece, and I added some purple, no, I added some green little pearls to look like he's chewing on some leaves. Then I did the other end, legs and antennas, and after finishing all that up, it is done. So then I created a pillowcase in this nice kind of velvet textured brown color in the size of a throw pillow. And I cut out about a half an inch around the whole object of the, I cut out a ha about a half an inch of tool around the whole entire beetle and hand stitched it to the pillow exactly where I wanted. I kind of had to pin it to the pillow so it wouldn't move on me. Cut all the extra kind of tool off and tuck that in and stuff the pillow and it's done. I love it. It turned out really cute and I think it was just such a fun project. I think I'll do another one. Maybe a blue pillow with a butterfly on it or something like that. But thanks for watching and please subscribe for more awesome videos like this.